but you you'd have to be blind to imagine that they weren't like having injuries throughout their career. Right. Like, it's so long. When you train at this level and train that hard and do top starts like they do, chasing down leader from run one, it's Thomas Stoy and Wolfgang Kindle our overall leaders. Final sled of men's doubles. We will have two extra sleds after this. They had nine hundreds to work with Woo. to start, and then five. It's down to five hundreds. Losing time, but they. Oh, that's gonna the whole skid out of corner ten. But honestly, this is what we saw in the first yeah. run, too. We saw such a sloppy run, and they had so much speed, and it doesn't oh, make oh. sense, and it's frustrating to watch, but they're still going yeah, to be successful. Yeah, expanding. They are building on that lead over Wendell Arl. Stoy and Kinda will win again in Oberhof by seven hundredths of a second. No one hitting the speed of round one. Top speed of the race, 112.6. Controversial to say, but I'm going to say it anyways. This is kind of uh, the Germans getting a taste of their own medicine because for years we would watch German sleds go down and have mistakes and it would be infuriating. And now it's happening to them with the Austrians. So um, I wonder how they feel. Interesting, yeah. I mean, something that we used to call it skeleton bobs, like crash faster. Yeah, crash <laughs> faster, watching exactly. Crash. Look at the roughness of that transition. And, and that's not the only one. That was happening in multiple spots here. Same here. You shouldn't be able to do that and, and win with the margin that they did, but that's just the, the world we're in right now with Luge. And it's, it's always interesting to see, you know, typically you'd go to a German, German track like Altenburg for Worlds and see, you know, it'd be tough to break into the top. And oh, break yeah. The, separate the Germans there, but we had different winners of wildly varying podium at Worlds. So our final results, Stoy Kindle take the win over Wendell and Arlt, who trade with Orlander, Orlander Gubitz from last week, and it was quite a tight race.